thing I think that it is interesting about our, our music is where it's very, very part oriented. It's all about orchestrating parts. When you uh, listen to the loops without the drums and you're hearing the guitar, bass, and keyboard part, everybody has a very specific role in each segment of the music. kind of a guide. I still listen to it. I love it. And anybody that has the ears to hear, check out that music and you'll see what I'm talking about in terms of parts. That's all orchestrated parts, music, the drummers, all those beats, really specific beats for the songs, the guitar players, really specific guitar parts, and sometimes two and three guitar parts that are sort of like, you know, interlaced together to create a uh, kind of a time feel that it's just this all these 16th notes are being played if you want to understand what uh, I think funk music or R&B music is in general and how to play it right you have to understand it from a roots perspective. You go back to the music of James Brown, all that great drumming, the drumming in New Orleans, Sigaboo with the meters, Earl Palmer. But I think more specifically in this context, because we were so influenced by that, was the music of James Brown, the drummers of James Brown. Another really big influential thing for us was the music of Stax, all those great Memphis recordings with Al Jackson Jr. playing on all those great recordings. Uh, Sam and Dave, Wilson Pickett, uh, the Soul Children, the Staple Singers, Otis Redding. I mean, he played on all of that stuff. And when you hear him play on all of that, it's all about the grooves and all about the beats. you want to understand the jazz tradition, I think the jazz tradition, the dynamic of the jazz tradition is improvisation, right? So, but I think the dynamic of the uh, funk kind of music is it's not improvised, it's the opposite. So you have jazz, which is has more improvised music, and that's how you get to that. But with funk music and R&B, you get to it through the beats. You study the beats all those great James Brown tunes that have all those really beat specific kind of songs, Cold Sweat, Sex Machine, all of that stuff. Great, great, great stuff. And I think that if you understand the roots of what we're doing here, respect the tradition, really get in and learn the roots of the music and what these drummers are playing. There's so much information out there and you can find out what these guys were playing, who they were. And, uh, you know, I always was interested in who the players were in rhythm sections. Those old records, when I was growing up, there was none of that stuff. They didn't tell you who was playing all that stuff. And so later on, you know, I found out. But I just love the whole concept of groove and what it does to music and kind of having music organized by thinking of parts. Very, very important in your music and groove making.